Chapter 14 Corporations, Dividend, Retained Earnings and Income Reporting and we discuss this chapter by using some examples and some exercises. Exercise 14.1 On January 1, G Corporation had 95,000 shares of no par common stock issued outstanding. The stock has a stated value of $5 per share. During the year, the following occurred. April 1 issued 25,000 additional shares of common stock for $17 per share. June 15 declared a cash dividend of $1 per share to stockholders of record on June 30. July 10 paid the $1 cash dividend. <coughs> December 1 issued 2,000 shares, additional shares of common stock for $19 per share. December 15 declared a cash dividend of outstanding shares of $1.2 per share to stockholders of record on December 31. Instructions number A prepare the entries to record these transactions. Number B how are dividends and dividends payable reported in the financial statements prepared at December 31. In cash dividend, we are take, take care of the number of outstanding shares. We are using number of outstanding shares and we have three dates, date of declaration, we have journal entry, date of record, there is no entry, and date of payment, we have an entry. On April 1, cash debit by 25,000 share times 17, 425,000. Common stock credit by the stated value 125,000 and the difference is EPIC or paid in capital in excess of the stated value 300,000. On June 16, date of declaration, cash dividend, debit by 120,000, 120,000 share time is $1, dividend payable as a current liability, credit by 120,000. July 10, date of payment, dividend payable, debit 120,000, cash credit by 120,000. December 1, another issuing of common stocks, cash debit by 38,000, common stock credit by the stated value on 10,000, and difference is paid in capital in excess of stated value or EPIC 28,000. On December 15, we have another declaration, cash dividend, debit by 146,400, which is total 122,000 shares times 1.2, dividend payable credit by the same amount. <coughs> Regarding number B, in the returned earning statement, dividend of 266,400, which is the total of 120,000 plus 146,400, will be deducted in the balance sheet. Dividend payable of 146,400 will be reported as a current liability. Second exercise regarding stock dividend. Here we are dealing with outstanding number of shares. We are dealing with market price per share to compute the stock dividend. On January 1, 2017, F Corporation had $1 million of common stock outstanding that was issued at par. It, it also had a retained earning of 750000 The company issued 40,000 shares of common stock at par on July 1 and earned net income of 400000 for the year. Instructions journalize the declaration of a 15% a 15 stock dividend on December 10, 2017 for the following independent assumptions. Number A, par value is $10 and market price is 18. Number B, par value is 5 and market price is 20. Two independent cases. In number A, stock dividend is debit by 21,000 share times $18 per share. This 21,000 20, is equal 1 million shares over 5, which is the par value, plus additional shares 40. 18,000 is the market price per share. Common stock dividend distributable, the 21,000 share times par value 10. So it's 21,000. 20, 210,000 and the difference is epic or paid in capital in excess of par 168,000. Second option stock dividend equal 36,000 times 20 equals 720,000. Common stock dividend distributable 
180,000 which is 36,000 times 5 par value and paid in capital in excess of par the difference which is 540,000. After that, we discussed statement of retained earnings. On January 1, AD Corporation had retained earnings of 650,000. During the year, AD had the following selected transactions. Number one, declared cash dividend of 120,000. Number two, corrected overstatement of 2016 net income because of inventory error 40,000. Number three, earned net income of 350,000. Number four, declared stock dividend 90,000. Instructions prepare a retained earnings statement for the year. In this statement, we start with beginning balance of retained earnings plus or minus the correction of period year errors plus the net income of the year minus dividends, cash dividend or stock dividend. E Corporation retained the earnings statement for the year ended December 31, 2017. The balance on January 1 as reported 650,000 minus correction of overstatement of 2016 net income regarding inventory error 40,000 the, ba the adjusted balance 610,000 plus net income 350,000 subtotal 960,000 less cash dividend 120,000 less stock dividend 90,000 total dividend 210,000 so the ending balance on December 31 which has to, 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 to appear in the balance sheet 750,000 another exercise regarding statement of retained earnings in the company reported retained earnings at December 31 of 310,000 and had 200,000 shares of common stock outstanding at the beginning of 2017 the following transactions occurred during 17 number one an error was discovered in 2015 depreciation expense was recorded at 70,000 but the correct amount was 50,000 number two a cash dividend of 50 cent per share was declared and paid number three a five percent stock dividend was declared and distributed when the market price per share was fifteen dollar per share number four net income was two hundred eighty five thousand instructions prepare a return the earnings statement for the year in the company return the earnings statement for the year ended december 31 2017 balance january one as reported three hundred ten thousand Correction of understatement of 2015 net income 20,000, adjusted balance 330,000 plus net income of the year 285,000, subtotal 615,000, less cash dividend 100,000, which is 200,000 share times 50 cent, less stock dividend 150,000, which is 200,000 share times 5% times $15 per share, total dividend 250,000 so the balance on December 31 of retained earnings 365,000 the last subject in chapter 14 regarding how to prepare corporation corporate income statement in 2017 exercise 1413 in 2017 P corporation had net sales of 600,000 and the cost of goods sold of 360,000 operating expenses were 153,000 and interest expense was 7,500 the corporation's tax rate is 30 percent the corporation declared preferred dividend of 15,000 in 2017 and its average common stockholders equity during the year was 200,000 we need to prepare income statement for P corporation P Corporation income statement for the year ending December 31. Net sales 600,000, cost of goods sold 360,000, cost profit the difference 240,000, minus operating expenses 153,000, equal income from operations 87,000, minus interest expense 7,500, equal income before income tax 79,500, minus income tax expense which is 30% tax rate times income before tax 79,500 equal 23,850 so the net income equal 55,650